Hey guys, welcome to episode three of the Tri-Z YZ 250 three-wheeler build. We are going to go completely through the frame in this episode. We are gonna show you what to look for. We're gonna show you how to repair the metal. You know, if you got broken bolts, bent brackets, any rust repair, anything, we're gonna show you completely how to fix it and get it all back to factory specs. And then we're gonna take you in the other room and we're gonna show you some powder coating. And there's different ways of powder coating. We're gonna show you the way that we do it with some of the equipment that we use. So this way, this is gonna be more or less a frame video. And then any, this will work on any dirt bike, three-wheeler, four-wheeler, street bike, anything you want. It'll technically work on anything, but this is a frame repair video to get it back up to where it's supposed to be. So if you have a frame that you're looking to maybe go through, you can paint it up or whatever, we're gonna show you what we do to make them look perfect. Ladies, pay attention. Okay guys, now that we have our frame completely stripped, now there's multiple ways you can strip this. You can strip it with a wire wheel, you can strip it with uh, strippers from uh, AutoZone or any Pato O'Reilly's or something. You can acid dip it or you can sandblast it. Or send it out to have it sandblasted, but it can be sandblasted. And this is what you'll end up with, a very clean frame. So once we sandblast it like we showed you, we uh, hit it with a wire wheel on all the tough spots just to get off all the edges. Because even in a sandblaster, it always leaves little tiny little areas. Not that that's a big deal, but it leaves little areas that, you know, you come back and you hit it with a wire wheel and they're gone. You can see right here that this bracket is bent right here. So that's one thing we're going to be repairing. It's got a slight tweak in it. And you can see the dents in the frame. So we got one here. See, you've got one here, and other than that, you know, I mean, I've got it on the other side as well, but other than that, it's got some scuffs down here, you know, like these areas here. It's actually a little bit of a dent. Let's see if you can get it. I don't know what you can see on, yeah, it's a little bit of a dent, but this is just basically scraping the, the, the frame on the ground, rocks, anything over time, I mean, from 1986. You can see some of the spatter from the factory right here when we go and we do our frames we actually clean up the spatter so we'll take this off so it'll be a little bit cleaner you don't have to do that if you're really trying to stay as factory as possible a lot of people like to leave that but we just like to clean it up a little bit better and even though this looks really rough we'll hit this with a flat disc and this will smooth right out so we'll add some weld right here and grind this out we'll add some weld right here and get rid of this dent and we will bring you through the process of showing you how to do that and then obviously, before you get any further, I mean, you can look over your frame and look in every bolt hole, make sure there's no broken uh, bolts in any of the holes, tabs are all in place. You gotta look at around for welds and you know see if there's any stress cracks. And a lot of things that this frame's actually in very good condition. A lot of frames are actually rusted from the inside. You guys wash your bikes and so on and water gets into the frame somehow and it just sits there. I mean, you see there's open ends to the frames and so on. Okay guys, so let's dip into this frame. The first thing we're gonna do is a few little close-ups of some factory welds. So you can see, you know, the quality of some of this stuff is not the greatest. Those are factory welds. You can see the pitting in the welds. And we have a few more. <coughs> this is the way all these factory welds are on a lot of these older bikes. So we like to clean these things up, possibly re-weld over a few of them. So you can see that we sanded down with a flap disc the bottom of the frame so we can see where our dents are. They protrude out a little bit better. Now, now you can actually see where they are once you just kind of clean the metal up and get it shiny. So we are gonna be filling this in with weld. Now, we use 
a bunch of different welders. You can MIG it, you can TIG it. So we have MIG welders, TIG welders. We have all kinds of welders here, so plasma cutters. Anything you need, really. Anything that you have available to you, as long as it puts down a decent weld, you gotta put a little bit of heat into it to make it penetrate. But Harbor Freight welders, anything you guys, anything you guys got, you can do this with. So anything I'm doing in these videos, I'm trying to show you that you can do them at home and you don't need to send them out and spend all kinds of money, you know, worrying about who, how oh, my frame, oh, I can't afford that. You guys can do this at home with some cheap stuff. Just follow these, uh, I don't know, these steps. And you don't have to powder coat your frame, you can paint it. I mean, you don't have to do a lot of things. Honestly, I mean, I suppose, and I don't really, you know, I'm not a big recommendation of it, but I, I suppose you could JB weld this stuff and sand it out. And I mean, if you're not, you know, gonna ride it as a show bike, I suppose you could do that. We don't do that, but I mean, even that, so you don't even need a welder for, but. All right, let's, uh, let's get into this. We're gonna start welding, filling the holes and sanding them smooth. Okay guys, now we have half of the frame polished. So, we weld it up and you just fill in the areas that have the dent and then you kind of roll it over. You're grinding 95% of this off so it doesn't really matter. And you come down and you just keep blasting on top of it a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more and you build it up. It doesn't have to be pretty, you don't have to be nice, you're just kind of Zapping, pulling, zapping, pulling, because if you don't do that, you'll burn right through the frame. So I cleaned up half of this side. We welded an area down in here. Uh, we welded like a dent right here. So you can see I ground down the factory weld and it had like little pitting in it and I just ran the welder over it and left it. So that'll somewhat look factory. And look at this tube. So that was the tube that was all dented up. And it is perfect. You just gotta play with it a little bit, back and forth. I mean, it feels absolutely perfect. There was a good sized dent up here. We had some dents over here. Um, there was a dent here. And uh, there was a dent down in here. You can see we fixed all of that. And then, so you can see on one side of the frame it's rough where it's been banging rocks and so on and you can see the bottom of the frame is the same. And we came over here and with that flap disc we just polished everything out. We'll continue cleaning it up a little bit with like a little whizzer, a four inch grinder on a whizzer and that'll get it to where it's got to be exactly perfect. So we'll use this. We'll come in here with a cookie and we'll just around the areas. That'll allow us to get the contours a little bit better. And then she's ready for powder coat. So we are gonna play a little bit with this side. Let you guys watch. So when you guys first start, you're only going to grind the weld. Stay off of the tube because you don't want to make the tube any thinner than it needs to be. So you're just going to grind the weld until you just see it touching the edge of the tube. So these are all our high spots. We're going to get rid of those first. I'm going to work specifically on this weld so you can see. I'm 
doing this a little bit differently and, and uh, obviously because I'm trying to record it and not go too far, I would go a little bit differently. Um, maybe not recording, but you could see where I'm just about touching the edges all the way around. Now at this point at the weld, so all you obviously you welded it in, now you're just getting a high point. A good idea is to start with a brand new flap disc because the brand new flap disc and the old flap disc, they round out versus how flat it is. And you wanna keep the flap disc flat and then just keep rolling it around like that. So now this is gonna almost instantly disappear and blend into the frame as we do this. Now you see we have a rounded frame already that fast and we're just getting the high spot, you know, the high spots in the center out and then you come back and you blend the edges. So these edges will go super fast. Watch how fast this edge disappears. Like I said, keep it flat, roll it up and don't sit there and spend too long because this will eat right into the metal. Just kind of play with it, move it around. You're massaging it, that's all you're doing. So watch how fast this disappears up here. And that's all you're gonna do. So then you do your upper, your upper weld there that's ugly, you do your lower weld down here. So it doesn't matter how pretty the welds are, you're just trying to fill material on thin tube. So that's all you're doing is you're making it ugly and you're building it up. So if you have a dent right in the center, you're gonna fill the dent up and then you're gonna go around the outside of it a little bit, quarter of an inch all the way around. And that'll be the high spot. Then you come in and you just massage it with a flat disc flat flap disc right against it. Well, let's move on to this one a little bit. We'll, we'll dig into that one and show you as well. Just the high spots. Like I said, just keep digging the high spots. You can see this is already starting to blend that fast. This one obviously had a good sized dent, so we're gonna have to put a little more weld there, but we'll get it as close as we can before we add any more welding. Boom. So you just saw that in live time and that's the little spot right there that you could see that we have to come back and add a little bit of weld to it. Little guy right there. Just a little thing. Right, we're gonna show you that real quick, what we do. Just come back. Three or four pulls of the trigger. Should cover it. Let's go on the outside a little bit. There we go. And then we will massage that little spot out and get rid of that nick. We're getting just the high spot. Show your battery on your grinder doesn't die. And it died. And we'll fill, finish filming that and then we will uh, show you something different. Okay guys, now that you took the flap disc, you welded everything up, you flap disced everything down, a lot of you guys can stay right at this stage. You don't really need to go any more than this, especially if you're gonna powder coat. 
powder coat fills in a lot it's very thick and we got rid of all the dents we fixed that weld to make it look factory all the areas down here that were gouged up from just banging on underneath uh, rocks and anything over time we just clean and polished it all up and then we got rid of all the necks dings dents ripples everything that was in the frame is now clean so at this point we go over it now I said it, you, you could be perfectly fine right where you are at this stage but we go over it uh, pretty much with the cookie disc exactly like I said any kind of colored cookie disc a brown a green uh, you know the red whatever cookie disc you want to use we just we just go over it just to clean it up You guys saw how dented up this was earlier. You can see there's absolutely nothing there. And while we got the camera right here, what we're going to do really quick is you can see there's a small dent right here. You can see that it's not completely straight. Just simply take any hammer and just tap it back. It's just tin. Go easy with it because you don't want to bend it in the other direction. And there you go. So that fixes that. All, right, all our frame rails underneath are pretty nice. So we're gonna go around the rest of the frame and just touch it up with the whizzer. Any other spots that we see that we wanna clean up. Not really, though. like I said originally, this frame's in great condition. So here we are, guys. Look at this little bit of a teaser. However, we are gonna show you how to start to finish powder coat this in the next video and we will show you what the bottom of the frame rails look like. So guys, like and subscribe, share, do whatever you can, please. We're trying to grow this channel, bring you as much content that's useful for you as we possibly can. But thanks guys, we'll see you in the next one, part four.